Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm and I am back to talk to you about the GeoAlarm control panel and how to program in and delete user codes. Uh, this is a very easy process to do. This system is one of the easiest ones to work with that you will come across. So in order to do this, uh, you just have to have the base master code. Um, in my case, it's going to be one, two, three, four. Uh, you're going to go ahead and hit this top left menu button. It's uh, We call it the hamburger icon. So go ahead and hit that icon. They'll ask you to enter your master passcode. One, two, three, four is the one I'm using right now. At this point, you will see quite a few different options appear. Uh, you want to go ahead and choose the appropriate option for this, which is going to be user. And at this point, you're going to see that there's already two codes programmed in. There's the master code, and there's also the hostage code. Both of those codes um, are, are going to be in there. You can click on them to change them. Uh, you can also edit the name. So if you go in here, instead of putting master, we can go ahead and just change it to Drew. And then we can change the passcode to something else. Uh, we can go um, 1133. All right, and then confirm it, 1133. Okay, that is now my passcode. Well, also, while we're in here, um, not only did we just change the master code, which now is my name, and I'll go ahead and I'll change it back so that it saves here. All right, and we also have to go into the passcode. I'm gonna change that back to one, two, three, four, so it stays uniform here with what I had. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the hostage code. You can make that code whatever you'd like. You can also turn it off or turn it on. So if you wanna set a hostage code, you just go ahead and flip that switch up there, the toggle, and then put in the code that you want it to be. In this case, I'll just go 9111. 9111. All right, so now my hostage code is active and it is 9111. I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate it because I don't really need it active right now. Um, and if you're wondering what that code does, that code is a, is a pretty useful uh, code. Um, say you're coming home and you need to go to the alarm panel to disarm it, but <clears throat> you know, God forbid somebody follows you in and it tells you to disarm the system. You can enter this code. What this code does is it gives the appearance of a disarming of the system while also transmitting a panic alarm. So it's a, it's a very useful code um, that uh, doesn't alert the uh, person that's holding you up to any potential uh, alarm going out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, but uh, that's a, a, a brief explanation of what the hostage code is. All right, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and add a new user. So go ahead and hit the plus sign up here. Okay, we can set the name. I'll just go second. All right, so we have second here. And then we'll set up a, a code for it. Uh, whatever code you want it to be, it can't be identical to the one you were using. So we'll just go 4321 in this case. All right. And then you can make it to where they are an actual member of the alarm system, where they're able to use the alarm system um, on any time frame. You can put it on a scheduled uh, time, um, uh, you know, that they can have during the week, uh, say Monday through Friday, um, eight to five, they can have access to the alarm panel. Then after that, their code no longer works. And then you can also set temporary, which uh, temporary obviously means that it's only gonna be there uh, temporarily. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just set it as a member. Okay, the new user has now been created, the new user second. So uh, we now have a master, a hostage, and the second code created. The next thing we're gonna do here is we'll just go ahead and we'll delete that secondary user. We don't need that in there. Um, I only added it for, uh, for you to see how to do it. So now um, we'll go ahead and we'll delete it, which is also very easy to do. Uh, if you want to deactivate it, by the way, and not delete it in case at some point you may want to use it, you can also flip that little switch up there. You can just hit it and it'll disable the code. Then you can re-enable the code by just flipping the switch there. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and delete it. So go ahead and hit delete and then click delete. All right, now all that's left is the master and hostage code. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you program it and delete codes in the geo alarm system that includes user codes master codes secondary codes as well as the hostage code uh, so any questions or comments leave them below other than that take care and have a great day
Please like and subscribe to our page for helpful programming and installation videos, product reviews, and more. Visit www.geoarm.com, that's www.geoarm.com, or call 877-443-6276. Geoarm, the worldwide leader in DIY security.